Welcome to Pranayama Practice. I'm Johnny. This is the first lesson in a five-week course that will allow you to significantly deepen your yoga practice. You will gain a more thorough understanding of how to control life force energy prana through yogic breathing techniques. Hopefully by now you've seen all of the other videos in the course that lead up to this first practice. The daily practice videos will get right into the practice itself, so if you need to re-familiarize yourself with any of the individual pranayamas, they will always be linked to in the lesson notes below. I want to begin this first lesson by really helping you to discover how to breathe into the full capacity of your lungs and of your upper body. So let's start today's lesson on your backs in the pose Shavasana, corpse pose. Okay, allow your feet to fall open from hips width. Turn your palms upwards towards the sky. Allow enough space between your arms and your torso so that you have some air in your armpits. And lengthen your arms down and away from your shoulders. Let your head roll from left and then to right, and then allow it to find a more comfortable resting place in the center. Close your eyes if you'd like. And then just become aware of the experience of lying on your back right now. So you'll notice that there are probably a great many thoughts running through your head. You're curious about what I'm going to say next. You're probably thinking about something you did earlier in the day or perhaps something that you're going to do later this evening. We can begin to quiet these thoughts by bringing more attention to the act of breathing itself. So whereas breathing is something we don't usually think about, it's something we do without having to think about, let's now very purposefully and specifically intentionally bring your awareness and your thoughts to the act of your breath. Now that the breath has your attention, let's begin to explore more subtle aspects of the breath. For example, can you determine a change in the temperature of the air from the moment it enters into the nostrils compared to when it leaves the nostrils? What odors, what smells do you discover in the air today? And perhaps you can even discern the level of humidity in the air, how much moisture is in the air that you're breathing. Now exert more direct control over the breath and see if you can make your inhalations a little bit more full and the, the exhalations a little bit more complete. Breathe as if there is no rush, no hurry from the bottom of that breath up to the top or from the top of the breath down to the bottom. And while you breathe, make sure that the face is relaxed, so that the jaws are unclenched, the tongue is soft in your lower jaw, and the muscles that control both the focus and direction of your eyes are relaxed. Now let's learn to really discover the space within us and how to incorporate that with our breath. The first pranayama today is called Udhar Pranayama or abdominal breathing. With this pranayama, I want you to breathe specifically into the belly and avoid trying to breathe into the chest or into the upper chest or shoulders. So we want the belly to expand like a balloon as we pull the air into this space. 
it's helpful if you place your hands on your abdomen, on your belly, so that your fingertips are pointing towards the midline of your body or towards your belly button. With this pranayama, we'll want to expand the belly into the hands. The duration of the breath will be to a count of nine. So we'll breathe into the belly for nine seconds straight, and then you'll exhale and try to empty the belly for nine seconds straight. And we'll do this for a total of five rounds. So with your hands on your belly, take a breath in and let a breath out. Inhale fully, exhale completely. Now breathe into the belly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the belly, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the belly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the belly, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the belly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the belly, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the belly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the belly, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the belly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the belly, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a normal breath in and let a normal breath out. Inhale and exhale. Now bring your hands up to your rib cage so that the fingertips are pointing in towards the center and each rib cage is underneath one of your hands. Vaksha pranayama or thoracic breathing. We want to focus the breath more specifically into the chest so that you feel the rib cage expand out into your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Same nine second count, full breath in, complete breath out. Now inhale into the chest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the chest, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the chest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, empty the chest, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the chest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the chest, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the chest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the chest, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, into the chest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, empty the chest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a normal breath in and a normal breath out. Inhale and exhale. Chatruka pranayama clavicle breathing. Here we'll access the upper chest or the shoulder area with the breath. This will allow us to expand a little bit more than we normally do with the breath. So bring your fingertips up to your collarbone and the idea here is to breathe into the upper chest so that you feel the collarbones lift into your fingertips. Same nine second duration, same um, amount of rounds. We'll do five rounds. Inhale, exhale, full breath in, complete breath out. Breathe into the shoulders. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the shoulders, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the upper chest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the upper chest, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the shoulders, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the shoulders, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Empty the shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a normal breath in. And let a breath out. Inhale and exhale. We'll refer to the ability to really breathe expansively into the entirety of the upper body as yogic breath. This is breathing three dimensionally, front to back, side to side, as well as top to bottom. Utilize all of the space. In the next round of breathing, we're going to incorporate Udar, Vaksha, and Jatruka all together. The count will still be nine. We'll still do five rounds. But for the first three seconds of the breath, you'll breathe into the belly. For the next three seconds of the breath, you'll breathe into the chest. And for the final three seconds of the breath, you'll breathe into the upper chest or shoulders. And during the exhalation, you'll just reverse the process. So for the first three seconds of your exhale, you're empty the, ch the upper chest. For the second three seconds of your exhalation, you'll empty the chest. And then for the final three seconds, you'll empty the belly. Now you're welcome to use your hands if this helps you to be aware of the region that you're breathing into or out of. Or you can just lay in Shavasana with your arms along your sides. Okay. Take a breath in and let a breath out. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Breathe into the belly. Two, three. Into the chest. Five, six. Into the shoulders. Eight, nine. Empty the shoulders. Eight, seven. Empty the chest. Five, four. Empty the belly. Two, one, into the belly, two, three, into the chest, five, six, into the shoulders, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, empty the chest, five, four, empty the belly, two, one, into the belly, two, three, into the chest, five, six, into the shoulders, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, empty the chest, five, four, empty the belly, two, one, into the belly, two, three, into the chest, five, six, into the shoulders, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, empty the chest, five, four, empty the belly, two, one, into the belly, two, three, into the chest, five, six, into the shoulders, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, into the chest, five, four, into the belly, two, one, take a normal breath in. Let a normal breath out. Inhale and exhale. Now close your eyes if you'd like as you lay there and just see if you feel anything change from the breath, from your focused attention on the breath, from the act of breathing. So whatever you feel or whatever you're experiencing right now, see if you can be aware of that. And then bring your attention, bring your awareness back into the room, back into the space. 
reawaken your fingers and your toes. Rediscover movement through your ankles and your wrists. Give yourself a long stretch, extend your arms overhead. And then relax for a moment into that stretch. Bend your knees, bring them towards your belly, and then roll over to your right side into a fetal position. Let your head rest on your right arm. Relax your hands, relax your face. Breathe naturally, breathe easy, and just feel the breath for a moment. Gently, carefully, softly push yourself up into a seated posture. You can choose one of the postures we've discussed already in the posture lesson. Remember the postures of pranayama. You can choose today probably Sukhasana, Vajrasana, or Ardha Padmasana might be the most accessible at this stage in the practice. I'm going to choose Sukhasana, so I'll cross my shins at the middle part, place my ankles beneath my knees, and from here I'm going to sit up nice and tall so, so that the spine is long and unobstructed by poor posture. Engage your back muscles slightly so that you can open the chest and really allow a lot of, a lot of area to breathe into. You can rest your hands on your knees and soften and relax the face. Let's practice Viloma Pranayama. This Pranayama incorporates the concept of breath retention, or Kumbhaka. We'll do three techniques of Viloma today. The first technique will incorporate what we've just learned with the yogic breath, combined with the retention for inhalation retention. For example, We'll breathe into the belly for three seconds and then stop and pause while we hold the breath inside for three seconds. Then we'll continue that same inhalation into the chest for three seconds, pause for three additional seconds, and then continue the inhalation into the shoulders for three more seconds, and at the top of the breath, pausing for three more seconds. And then during the exhale, We'll let it all out over a nine second count. Let's do this five total rounds. So take a breath in, let a breath out. Inhale, exhale completely. Breathe into the belly, two, three, pause, two, three, into the chest, five, six, pause, two, three, into the shoulders, eight, nine, pause, two, three, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, breathe into the belly, two, three, pause, two, three, into the chest, five, six, pause, two, three, into the shoulders, eight, nine, pause, two, three, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, into the belly, two, three, pause, two, three, into the chest, five, six, pause, two, three, into the shoulders, eight, nine, pause, two, three, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, into the belly, two, three, pause, two, three, into the chest, five, six, pause, two, three, into the shoulders, eight, nine, pause, two, three, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, into the belly, two, three, pause, two, three, into the chest, five, six, pause, two, three, into the shoulders, eight, nine, pause, two, three, exhale, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, 
one. Take a normal breath in. Let a breath out. Inhale. And exhale. The next technique is very similar to the one we've just done, except all of the pauses will occur on the exhalation. So we'll inhale into the big yogic breath for nine seconds at the top of the breath. Then we'll empty the upper shoulders for three seconds. Then pause and hold exhalation retention for three seconds. Empty the chest for the next three seconds and then pause and hold the breath for three seconds and then empty out of the belly for the final three seconds with a pause for three seconds at the bottom of the breath and we'll repeat that cycle for five rounds. So continue to sit up tall, keep the chest open, keep the face relaxed. Inhale, exhale, full breath in, complete breath out. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, inhale, exhale, full breath in, complete breath out. The third and final technique of Viloma Pranayama today will combine what we did on the inhalations and on the exhalations. So we'll breathe into the belly for three seconds, pause for three seconds, into the chest for three seconds, pause for three seconds, breathe into the shoulders for three seconds, pause for three seconds, and then exhale from the shoulders for three seconds, pause for three seconds, empty the chest for three seconds, pause for three seconds, empty the belly for three seconds, and then a pause for three seconds at the bottom of the breath. We'll do that total thing for five rounds also. Sit up tall, open the chest, relax the face, prepare for your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Full breath in. Complete breath out. Breathe into the belly. Two, three, pause. Two, three, into the chest. Five, six, pause. Two, three, into the shoulders. Eight, nine, pause. Two, three, empty the shoulders. Eight, seven, pause. Two, three, empty the chest. Five, four, pause. Two, three, empty the belly. Two, one, pause. Two, three, into the belly. Two, three, pause. Two, three, into the chest. Five, six, pause. Two, three, into the shoulders. Eight, nine, pause. Two, three, empty the shoulders. Eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, into the belly, two, three, pause, two, three, 
into the chest, five, six, pause, two, three, into the shoulders, eight, nine, pause, two, three, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, into the belly, two, three, pause, two, three, into the chest, five, six, pause, two, three, into the shoulders, eight, nine, pause, two, three, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, into the belly, two, three, pause, two, three, into the chest, five, six, pause, two, three, into the shoulders, eight, nine, pause, two, three, empty the shoulders, eight, seven, pause, two, three, empty the chest, five, four, pause, two, three, empty the belly, two, one, pause, two, three, inhale, exhale, breathe in, and breathe out. Close your eyes for a moment. Feel what you feel as a result of your breath. And then come into the space, into the room. We'll finish the practice today and all of the practices with a five minute meditation or five minutes of stillness. The idea here is to just create stillness in the mind through concentration. What you'll discover is that the mind really resists being still. It will want to just think about anything and everything. Don't become frustrated or angry or upset when you struggle with this. This is a natural and normal thing. But really just recognize when the mind is leaving its stillness, when the mind starts to think and process thoughts, and then just consciously release them, let them drift away, and return the mind back into its place of stillness, and just continue the cycle over and over again. Now I've got a timer set for us, so I'll go ahead and keep track and keep count. And when the timer goes off, you can still sit with your eyes closed, and then I'll bring us back into the room and into the space. So continue to be seated during these, this five minutes of stillness. Try not to lay down. It is okay to lean against a wall if you are still developing the core muscles to support the spine in its upright position. Sit up tall, open the chest, relax the face, let your breathing be unforced, uncontrolled. Just allow a normal, natural breath. Keep the face relaxed. And I'll go ahead and start the timer now.
and gently begin to bring yourself back into your room, back into your space. Take Anjali Mudra. This hand position balances the energies. Creates an equilibrium for ourselves. Thank you for your practice today. Namaste.